Hi, this is Mayor Chris Fergano. Today is March 19th, 2020. I wanted to give you an update on where we sit with the coronavirus in Wayne Township. As of this afternoon, we now have five positive tests uh, of our residents, and I'll give you the ages and uh, right now. So the first is a 71-year-old female. The next is a 48-year-old female. We also have a 25-year-old female a 58-year-old male, and an 87-year-old female. Now, many people are wondering, wondering where do these people live, where do they react in the, in the community? Unfortunately, or fortunately, we're not allowed to disclose that information. Our public health nurses are now making contacts with any individuals that might have come in contact with these individuals. We have five today. Yesterday we had two. The day before we had one. I'm sure the number is going to grow. I want to assure you that our health department and our police department are ready, willing, and able to handle any emergencies along with our fire department and the first aid squad. So today I have an announcement that I want to share with the general public and that's why we're doing this. And we'll be doing these videos as time goes on when the need comes to inform the residents of our township exactly what is happening. So out of an abundance of caution and to help curtail the possibility of the community spread of the coronavirus, also known as COVID-19, Wayne Township will be implementing the following administrative procedures effective March 23rd and continue until further notice. Municipal offices and facilities. The physical building access to all municipal offices except the police department is suspended as of March 23rd until further notice. The public foyer of, ta of Town Hall will be open to the public weekdays, 8.30 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. This is for access to drop off for filing of completed permits and other correspondence. No loitering shall occur in or around the foyer. All offices are open and the municipal staff will be available during this time to answer questions and concerns about, about the public via telephone and email. However, no in-office visitation will be permitted for duration without a scheduled and approved appointment. All residents and property owners are encouraged to utilize our online payment options for taxes and water and sewer bills. And they can access this as www.cit-e.net backslash Wayne, New Jersey. And we'll put all these up on our website. They're there already. A drop box for payments is also located in the front of the municipal building in the parking lot. It's a silver box. It's emptied every day and we'd encourage people to use that. The police department for emergencies as always, please dial 911. The police department will continue as always on duty 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All non-emergent contact with the police department should be initiated by calling 973-694-0600. Non-emergency email inquiries can be made uh, to a website we've just set up and that'll be on the, on the township website also. On online reporting is new, but for non-emergency police incidents that require a police report such as fraud, identity theft, lost or stolen property or harassment, this does not include domestic violence related reports can be done online. If your business requires that you visit the police station at 475 Alley Road, you'll be subject to screening and escorted to a secure area. Please call in advance to make an appointment to be seen. The health department continues to operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week for the COVID-19 related notifications and investigation. And I really want to say the health department has really stepped up and is doing an outstanding job monitoring everyone that we have found to be uh, positive so far. In the municipal courts, the Wayne Township Municipal Court sessions have been suspended by Ju Chief Justice Stuart Rabner until March 27th. New court dates will be issued to those individuals that need them. Fines and payments for motor vehicle violations can also be made online and you can see that email that uh, address when you look at our website. For all other violations, a drop box is located in the front of the Miss building. No cash will be accepted and payments can also be mailed to the court 
just like taxes can be mailed to the township. If you need additional information about the municipal court, please call 973-694-1800 and the extension is 3305. Our fire department and first aid squad continue to operate 24 seven. Nothing has changed with them and we thank those volunteers for their service during these trying times. Code enforcement in the building department and the fire prevention bureau. So permit application drop off again in the main lobby and that's 8.30 to 4.30. You can go on our website to download, download the forms ahead of time. Telephone screening for symptoms of COVID-19 prior to will be made prior to all appointments and inspections occurring. The township will be erring on the side of caution and the inspections will be using discretion when entering buildings and interacting with individuals. Only essential contractors, homeowners, or authorized representatives necessary for the completion of any inspection shall be on the site during such inspection in an effort to limit unnecessary contact. More inspection protocols. Outdoor inspections will remain the same. Indoor inspections. In water and sewer, all non-emergent water meter installations or repairs will be canceled and rescheduled at a later date. CCO, so continued certificate of occupancies, inspections will be canceled. Buyers and sellers will be required to submit a purchase ag agreement from the purchaser's attorney stating that who will be taking responsibility for any related repairs or corrections or deficiencies once the CCO inspection is performed. TCOs will be issued for 90 days. And for fire inspectors, inspections, smoke detector and CO detector inspections are canceled. The DCA has issued certification forms which can be used for owner certification. All other inside inspections of the building and fire department, the inspection will only be scheduled if it cannot be postponed to a later date. The applicant shall be asked the following questions, and we all know what those are. Have you or anyone else has flu-like symptoms? Has anyone been out of the country the last 14 days? Have you or anyone home building been in close contact with someone who's concerned, confirmed for the virus? We're gonna be utmost cautious when we send the inspectors out. Um, the applicant shall also be told that the work area must be cleared to allow for the social distancing of six feet of separation at the time of inspection. If this cannot be done, cannot be done, the inspection will not be performed. In recreation, all playgrounds are closed until further notice. However, parks will remain open for passive recreation. Again, all playgrounds are closed until further notice. However, parks will remain open for passive recreation. All organized sanctioned rec recreation activities such as basketball, baseball, softball, lacrosse, and soccer is suspended until further notice. Wayne Public Library continues to be closed until further notice. You may return library books to the drop box located in the front of the library as normal. There will be no fines assessed during this time. You can also access all the library's information at waynepubliclibrary.org and you can call the library 973 694-4272, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, if you need assistance. Public meetings. All non-essential board and committee meetings are canceled until further notice. This includes the Board of Adjustment, the uh, Planning Board. Uh, with, this is with the exception of council meetings, which will now be held once a month on the third Wednesday of the month until further notice. We ask for your cooperation as we all get through this crisis together. Obviously, this is much, much, much serious and we have to consider and take a look at every single option and we're moving to uh, address the situation on a daily basis. Again, just to summarize, we now have five positive cases and we're addressing those. If you get contacted by the health department, it's for your safety. We will work 24 hours a day, seven days a week to take care of all of you. I ask you to look out for your neighbors, for the elderly, and see if they need assistance, and try to help everybody out. Together, we will get through this as one united Wayne. Thank you very much. If you need any assistance from my office, 973-694-1800, and the extension is 3200.
I can also be reached at mayor at waynetownship.com. Thank you very much.